You know, Courtney, to that point, we know the, uh, the aftermath of the election could be extraordinarily volatile, but that tempers that quick correction in a NASDAQ, uh, you know, a lot of people saying it was so fast, it was sharp, and it did what it had to do, flushing out maybe the weaker hands. Where do you see this market from here? Yeah, I think one thing we can't forget about right now is all of the cash that's on the sidelines. And we've been talking about this kind of leading up into this is we are going to get periods here where people are taking some profits. But you also have a lot of buyers who have been waiting for some sort of second shoe to drop or some other entry point, And they're wait willing to buy back in. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So I think this is kind of indicative of future dips that we can see might be a lot less severe because there are so many investors just waiting on the sidelines to buy back in every time that that dip happens. And Courtney, I know you also like an ETF in the industrial space. Which one is that? Exactly. I, I think choosing individual names, it, it can be difficult to do. And a really good way for investors to get really low cost, well diversified um, funds is um, like Vanguard or Charles Schwab. A lot of them have these. A good example is the Vanguard Industrial Index. It's a really good way that you can get a lot of these top names like um, 3M, Caterpillar, a lot of your industrials all bundled together in one really low cost. So if you're looking to do that cheaply, right. that is a good alternate to look at. And I want to point out SLG, the share soared yesterday. They're up big again today. Yesterday, the company unveiled its latest building in Manhattan. There's one Vanderbilt. It's right across the street from the Grand Central Station, 1,400 feet tall, 1.7 million square feet. It's amazing. The office space looks beautiful. But I do want to get okay. Courtney because it also supports an amazing dividend. And, uh, you know, if, I was, if I'm your age, you can certainly bet on the return of New York City, especially in a stock that's down over 40 percent for the year and rocketing the last two days is telling you something. Yeah, and I, I really like real estate from an income play and as an inflation hedge. I think long term you have a lot of opportunity in real estate. But I do kind of have to agree with Danny here. I wouldn't just solely focused on Manhattan or just New York City specifically, um, whether we're optimistic or not. You're really putting all your eggs in one basket. Right. And I do think there's a lot of potential, whether you okay. have like cell towers, industrial storage, there's a lot of good other other facilities you want to include in your real estate portfolio. Um, whether or not we're optimistic on, okay. on New York, I agree with you, Charles. I think long term, we'll see that go up. Short term, make sure you're better diversified.